This is the first time the 914 Electric has been here. Oh, yeah. And so I just want to give you a tour around this place because, oh my gosh, there's yeah. so much stuff. <laughs> You know something I wanted to tell you? Your journey is like a really important, what you're doing, there's so much passion and uh, it's so interesting, partly because you're so young and you're willing to tackle something like this. Um, I just want you to know that I'm here because this is also my journey. <laughs> so your journey is my journey and I'm here because I love what you're doing and I wanna make it part of what I'm doing also. Alrighty, so Mark just came up to visit me to see my car for the first time. And Mark is 914 Electric, that's his handle, and he's my mentor. So anytime I have any questions, like he knows the lay of the land because he's done two of these 914 Electrics. Whew. So anytime I have any questions, I can go right to him. And that's the amazing thing about a mentor. Like I cannot wait to be a mentor one day because people can come to me with those questions. And I think it's really awesome if someone has any questions that you know, I'd be able to step up in my community and be able to help them. And I think that's great for anyone. Mentors are amazing. So I was planning on just like um, putting in all the parts, making sure it works, and then taking them all out and then painting them and putting them back in. Mm -hmm. But should I just paint the car and then put them all back in? Because I, I know I don't want to scratch it, but... I would say finish the restoration first because you don't want to have to be juggling the restoration and the electrification at the same time. Got it. It's really good to have the car finished without having a, the distraction mm -hmm. of, of the restoration, which is still in progress, right? Got it. Get all that done. Every time you come out to work on it, you're going to go, oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so now instead of what I was going to do, which was waiting for the EV parts, I'm just going to keep going with the restoration and paint this after I, you know, prime up all these spots, paint it, and then I can just start finishing the restoration and put all the, you know, all the wiring harness back in and all that stuff, and then get the EV and fit that in with all of the stuff. Correct, yes. That's how I would approach it, and that's how I did my first two cars. What happens at a normal conversion shop is we say, bring me the car after you finish restoring it. We don't want the car to have any, we don't want to discover anything weird about the car while we're trying to convert it. We want it completely mm -hmm. buttoned down and dialed in before we take it and then do our work. So before Mark came, I was a little bit like, oh, should I finish the restoration first or should I work on the EV components first? And I didn't really know. But then when Mark came, he was like, oh yeah, just go full steam ahead on the restoration and that's exactly what we're doing. And then we're going to worry about, you know, all the electric components and such. But that's the amazing thing about having a mentor. And I encourage each and every one of you to do stuff like that. Like, go help kids in your community who may not know about certain things that you know about it. And I think it's just really amazing that you're able to help people and just go out into your community and be a mentor. I want to see you at Cars and Coffee. <laughs> and I can bring my 914 and we can park right next to each other and we can blow people's minds. <laughs> Words of a great mentor.